on everybody thanks for tuning in to this latest video on the s p 500 and what's going to happen next what i want to do is i want to go over some key levels and what to watch out for and what the next big sell-off key level is now a lot of people weren't ready for the s p to fall off you can see right through here this is COVID. this high right through here at uh this is going to be 3400 on the s p 500 that is the area where price action uh technically recovered uh you can see the chop right through here but it technically recovered and then it absolutely skyrocketed and then leading into 2022, and we're just about out of this mess, but 2022, there was a massive move to the downside, which started uh, probably right through this area, right through here. You can see that the markets didn't really want to give up. Uh, and you can see that we got a little bit of range bound, a little bit of a liquidity trap here. Uh, we push into that prior resistance at 4,500 on the S&P. That's 457 on the SPY, uh, one tenth of the overall S&P. And then we looked at that 429 level and uh, you can see that we took that out and we, we cruised to the downside. We retested and then we moved lower. Uh, and if we, if we scale back a little bit and we look at these technical levels, uh, one could assume, and it's a very, very fair assumption, uh, that it, when price action comes down to these lower levels, we're going to see um, either a very, very big hold of this level uh, at 360 or 3600 3, on the S&P um, or we're going to get a big nosedive now what you can see and this is just simple technical analysis 101 is we've got these market structural highs um, at um, you know 481 we've got another one at 464 we've got another one at 430 and we've got this area right through here uh, which is held to the downside at 411. So what you're actually seeing is that highs are getting lower and lower and lower and lower. This is a technical give me, okay? So every single time we make these lower lows and these lower highs, price action is losing more and more momentum. Now, if you look at the overall uh, momentum indicator, which is the MACD, uh, you're seeing right through here on this daily chart that we're probably looking for some sort of a, uh, a push to the upside, we might get a push through these levels right through here. You can see that there's a technical level about that 392 level. Why do I say that? Because if we bring this down here and we mark off this level and then just sort of drag this across, you'll see that there's a lot of hold through these levels. 387 is holding, gaps down, holds as resistance, then holds as support, support breaks down, now resistance. Now resistance, now support all through these levels. We've gapped down, the lead in trend is bearish. So again, a hold of that 387, 388 level and a breakdown of 377 is going to take us into a technical test at 360. Uh, if 360 drops, uh, price action, I'm not too sure where this could go, but if we use the same sort of methodology here, uh, you could see that there's maybe a potential catch at about 325 or three um, or, or 3250 on the S&Ps. Uh, you know, there's also a level down through here that's interesting that's been uh, well tested and structured out uh, at which is going to be 3000 uh, on the S&P and that, that is a resistance, 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 then we break a uh, technical support, then we break down resistance, resistance, we break out, uh, we pull back and we hold. So there's some sort of uh, magnetic level down through here at, uh, at 3000 on the S&P 500. So as it stands, the next big key level uh, to watch is going to be this 360. If 360 snaps, there really isn't much to catch it uh, until it uh, moves down to this 325. Just add a zero uh, if you want to know the S&P levels. But these are the areas that I'm watching. These are the areas that I've been watching. These are, this is the same approach that I took uh, to CGC a number of years ago when the, uh, the market was telling me that this, that thing was going to go up forever. And I was calling a short trade on that thing. Ended up shorting it from about $54 down to 9 And it's the same thing that I was saying at crypto at 60 when it broke and went down to uh, 40 and went down even lower than the 20s. Um, so this is the same technical approach. And now we're looking at the broader U.S.-based equity markets. S&P levels to watch going into uh, the new year are going to be 360 on the S&P. Um, are on the SPY, uh, 3,600 on the S&Ps, uh, 3,250 is on the S&Ps, and 3,000 on the S&Ps. These are going to be the key levels to watch going into 2023. And uh, I'm going to be watching these levels. I'm going to be trading them. This is the same methodology that I used just the other day where I saw an 1,100 plus percent return on one options-based trade. Feel free to tag along and check out some of these trades I'm going to be putting on in the new year.